Hello, folks. Now I'm working on M106. This is the fourth galaxy I'm working on since the moon has been gone. I've been really productive this cycle, and the skies have been cooperating. I already captured luminance the previous night, and now I'm capturing red. And I'm going to continue on to green, then blue, and then come back around and capture more luminance. Right now, my mean readout for red is 862 for two-minute exposures. I have a CLS filter in front of all of these, by the way. And like I said, I, I'm borderline between a red zone and a white zone. I need all the protection I can get. Let's take a look at what one raw image looks like. And that's M106 right here, and I framed it in a way... Oops, there's another image that just came through. Ah, dang it! It figures. I, I just went into a um, an autofocus routine. <laughs> Perfect timing. Well, let's look at my guiding, by the way. Guiding is 0 0.62. Um, it, it usually, it, it was lower earlier, but it, I notice it tends to go a little higher during the autofocus routine, I guess the movement of the focuser while it's going through that routine. Um, but anyway, I'll be back, and I'm hoping I can capture the rest of the data I need for M106 tonight. And right now, I'm actually still trying to process uh, M81. So, um, okay, I'll be back. Let's just take a look at my autofocus really quick here. Yeah, this should, when it's finished, it should look like a V, or at least a U. So you, it, when you see it going in that straight line, that, that's that's a good sign. That's what I like to see. You don't want to see a, a jagged routine going on. Let's see the next one here. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'll be back later. See you later. Okay, I have finished capturing data for M106, and I stopped at around 8 hours. This is now the, the fourth galaxy I've captured since the moon has been gone. We've had a run of clear skies, and I am dead tired, let me tell you. I, I need sleep, please. I wouldn't mind some clouds right now. But you know what? It's going to be clear again the next few days. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do because the moon is getting brighter and there's really not many H, you know, narrow band targets out there. So maybe I'll, I'll do some globular clusters if they're bright enough during the, while the moon is out. I don't know. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Let, let's, let's start looking at my data. This is uh, my luminance data. This is M106. And I framed it in a way so I could capture this galaxy. I initially was trying to capture M106 in the center, and I saw this galaxy hanging off, um, half cut off. And I thought, whoa, that's a big galaxy too. So this is how I framed it. Um, uh, I just had to change it in the framing wizard. I didn't have to rotate the camera. It was, I was lucky. This is exactly the way I would have wanted it framed. I didn't have to rotate the camera. I didn't have to recapture plants or anything or... Anyway, anyway, um, oh, that's, you can, I, I'm sorry, it's 1 a.m. right now and I'm recording this, so I'm a little brain fried. But, uh, this is my red data. My, my loom data looked pretty, pretty clean. All my data looked pretty clean, really. No glaring reflections. Well, maybe green suffered a little bit. It looks a little bit brighter in that corner. And that is my blue. But I didn't run an ABE on any of this data. I just waited until after I started combining data to do a, a DBE or an ABE. So that's, those are my, uh, let's see, it was five hours, around five hours for Loom and about one hour each for RGB. Let's close those. And this is after I... Um, combined RGB, I also ran an ABE on the data. Um, so uh, that's not too bad, actually. I can already see some... This is a really colorful galaxy, by the way. You can't tell here, but it is. And after I, I did this ABE on it, I did a color calibration. And that's what it looked like after, my, after the background neutralization and color calibration. And 
I'm not sure if this was really a better result on the left. Uh, maybe the galaxy, the, the core of the galaxy looks better. Uh, but the one on the left is the data I used. So uh, let's see what else. Now, um, after the histogram, I added the, the loom uh, to the RG, RGB data. And this is what I've got. This is what I, um, this is the, the final combine that I decided to work with. Um, and from here, uh, there's I, I tried two different ways, and I, somebody left a comment on my previous video, and uh, it was funny to see he does this too. I normally don't want to admit that I <laughs> what I do here because I'm afraid I might be ridiculed, but I either run an SCNR to get rid of the green, or I do an ABE again to get rid of. Uh, tend to clean up the background, and uh, I forget which one I. But usually the ABE wins out. I, I like that result better than just running an SCNR. And after I did that, um, the data was cleaner. I don't. I don't know if I saved off that one. Uh, but this is what my final image looks like after I played around with the colors, and this time. Uh, I tried to pay attention to star color. I didn't. I, I have a habit of losing star color along the way, so I paid more attention to that. And the background. Um, I tried not to make the background too dark because um, when it's too dark, it for me anyway, it usually means I'm hiding flaws. And I sent a sample of what I had over to Doug, and he was like, eh, "It's still a little bit dark." So I I went back and I. I I made it a little less dark. I thought I could get away with it, making it a little bit, a little bit brighter, and that's what I've got. I actually, uh, this time I can say I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. The M106, it, it is a colorful galaxy. I like how the color of that galaxy. Let's blow it up more. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, it's, I don't got as much detail as other people I've seen on Astrobin, but I don't have as much focal length as them either. So, uh, anyway, that, that's what I've got. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this result. There's a cool-looking galaxy, a tiny one there, too. I can see other galaxies in the picture. And so that's it. That's the last galaxy I'm going to be able to capture. The moon is now coming back, so I'll probably have to wait a while. But I would say uh, this season I'm, I'm doing pretty good with galaxy season. So I'm off to a really good head start. Next on my list is probably either going to be the Pinwheel Galaxy or the Whirlpool Galaxy. Or maybe the Sunflower Galaxy. I don't know, but I, I'm starting to get more comfortable with LRGB now. So, anyway, that's all I got, folks. Thanks for watching again. I will see you later.